This is the intro jingle. This is the K-Pop DevOps show with Eric Nam. What is good, my K-Pop DevOps fam? This is Eric Nam. Welcome to the K-Pop DevOps show with me, Eric Nam. You guys, welcome back. Um, So, I guess this is kind of weird because I haven't done just like a solo episode by myself in a very, 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 very long time. It's been… I actually don't even know or remember the last time that I did this. So I'm 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 nervous. Why am I nervous, guys? This is odd. But anyways, um, today we don't have a guest. We don't have any special people. It's just you and me. And I'm sorry if you're disappointed, but I hope I'm enough for you. And if I'm not, I, I don't know what to tell you. I have nothing to console you with other than that. Um, I don't I don't know. But thank you for listening anyways. So today, we're going to catch up with myself. We're just going to talk for a little bit. And I'm also going to pretty much wrap up a lot of January. Some of the coolest releases that I came across. And um, talk about some of the, I don't know, cool things that have been happening in my life and in K-pop for the past month. The month of January 2021. Also, we are in January 2021. Uh, which or we're in 2021 itself, which is insane because I never thought we would get here. Um, I guess uh, as we've been doing the recent episodes of K-pop Tebok Show, they were all shot at the end of last year while I was still in Korea. I'm currently in Atlanta right now as I do this episode. Um, and I guess I should just… You know what? We're going into a rambling talk. But anyways, I've been in Atlanta for a bit with my parents… Um, just spending time with them. I haven't spent time with them in this long of a time. For this long of a time. Since probably like high school. Honestly. Or like my freshman year of college. When I lived at home for my summer internship. But like I have not spent time here. So it's kind of… When I first got here it was really weird. And um, it was a lot of adjusting. Because I just don't think we had been used to seeing each other <laughs> for so long. Um, but it's been good. It's been good to catch up with my parents and my family. And um, I guess just seeing how parents age. And I age. And we all age. And just trying to cherish all the time that we have together. Um, it's been really good to be able to do that. Um, one other thing that's been interesting. It's like mom has changed. Mom and mom. I can definitely tell you for sure. She has changed her ways. And I'm telling you this because… If you don't know, my mom was never the most encouraging person about my music career. And I talk about that. But like, um, she recently, since I got here, was like, aren't you a singer? I was like, yeah. And then she's like, why aren't you singing? I was like, you hate it when I like sing in the house. And she's just like, okay, but like you should be practicing your singing technique. And I was like, who are you? Where is my mom? What have you done with her? Like… What is going on? And then I realized mom is just full Asian tiger mom. She wants you to be the best that you can at whatever it is you do. So she's like, you need to go practice. I was like, I don't have time to practice. I got work to do. Um, so it's been it's been fun just hanging out with the parents. Um, Brian is here with me as well. Eddie was here for a little bit. Brian, my youngest brother, is also here. Anyways, look, we can go straight into K-pop or we can ramble just a little bit more. If you want to just jump into K-pop, you guys can fast forward just a little bit. But there's some important news that I also have to talk about. Um, Today, as I'm recording this, it is Inauguration Day. Okay? It is Inauguration Day in the United States of America. Now, I was watching the inauguration on TV. And I started like tearing up. I had a meeting to jump into. But like I was trying to pull myself together. Because I think for a lot of people, the past four years have been really difficult to watch and to bear. Because I feel like it's been full of like hatred for for people who are different, who are other. And I, I feel like they're… Like I, I just feel like I was so disheartened and had such a difficult time just processing… Everything that would happen seemingly every day. Um, And so to get to a point where I feel like there's hope. 
and and relief. I I feel so so much better. Um, and I think it's time for us to all you know come together and and kind of be united. It's going to be hard. It's like this is not going to just happen overnight. There's still going to be hatred. There's still going to be evil in the world. There's still going to be people who, who you know, don't believe in in unity or love or just being accepting of other people who are different. But I think this is a time now where we just have to fight that much harder for what we believe is right and to be on the right side of history, guys. Um, but yeah, I just I I don't know why. Like I as I was watching these incredible people who were all different shapes, size, colors on TV. And it just looked so diverse. And everybody just started to just, I don't know. I felt so overwhelmed with emotion. And so um, I haven't even read the details on like what's been going on politically. But as I'm sure you guys know, I'm pretty open about politics. Not because I'm like, you know, like want to convince you a certain way or another. But I feel like caring about what's going on in the world is a big part of who I am. And so that's why I do talk about it. Not to put a, push anything down your throat, but just so that, you know, I feel like when people want to know me or support me or know who I am or my music, people want to know the whole me. They don't want to know just like what is pleasant to just absorb and just be like, shut up. And if you do, that's fine. Um, that's why I talk about it. But anyways, I I think Inauguration Day, super, super momentous. The other thing, and I, and I think it also comes at, at a time where we're in 2021. And everybody's like, yes, 2021 is going to be my year. And I'm going to do everything. And I'm going to have all my cake. And I'm just going to live my life. And I want you to live your life. But we need to do it in a safe way. Because honestly… The only thing that's changed is like the date and time and how we calculate it. But things haven't really changed yet. So um, I'm sure you guys are slowly starting to figure that out. But I think mentally to be able to say, okay, but we are in a different year. So let's kind of reset our our perspective. Let's reset our mindset so that we can really… Um, try to be happier. Uh, I think that's kind of my goal um, right now. To to be more positive and to be happier. And just, just to keep my head up. And I know it's been really hard for a lot of people. Because I can't even imagine um, the difficulty and the struggle that a lot of people are going through. Um, so yes. I don't know why I'm talking about this, but it's just been on my it's been on my mind, it's been on my heart, and I haven't spoken to you guys in this way for a very long time. So I I just kind of wanted to. I hope you don't mind. So let's just get into this. Oh, oh my god, last thing, I swear. And we're gonna talk about cable. <laughs> Wait, this is my show, guys. I can do whatever I want. So whatever. I'm not gonna apologize. Um we're almost at a hundred episodes of K-pop Tabak Show, which is ridiculous. Who would have thought? What started on my kitchen counter uh, with me pretty much like me and Brian just like bickering at each other uh, would last a hundred episodes. It's kind of… It's ridiculous. Okay? It's ridiculous. But we're here and I'm so proud and I'm so excited and I'm so happy. Um, And as a commemorative project… Is that the right word? I don't know. Um, I'm trying to pull something together. So look out for it. Um, I'm going to try to make it cool. It may not be cool because I don't know how cool I am. But maybe it'll be cool. Okay. Let's just talk about K-pop. All right. So much to talk about with K-pop. Because honestly, the month of January has been feeding us with some incredible comebacks and music. If you guys have listened to the show before, you guys know that I have phases where I'm like… I talk about K-pop because we're obligated to because it's literally the K-pop Tebok show. But I have months or weeks where I'm like nothing intrigues me about what's going on musically. And I just don't care. Like it just happens. Like sometimes even… That's not just K-pop. That's just any genre. And I'll just switch genres. So I've been listening to a lot of country music. I've been listening to a lot of like R&B. 
um, had been not listening to K-pop for a minute. When it comes to the year end in Korea, nobody releases a lot of new stuff because everybody's just focused on year end award shows and like uh, all like the big specials on TV. So nobody's really releasing a lot of new stuff. So I feel like there was a big lull. But we're back. January is strong as all hell. Um, obviously, we talked about Epic High because Tableau was on the show last week. And that album is incredible. I'm sure you guys know by now. If you haven't heard it, please do yourself a favor. Treat yourself. I want you to kick back, grab a cold drink or a warm drink, whatever temperature you in, you in, and then like put a nice face mask on, get your nails done, and like just, I don't know, light a candle, maybe get in the bath. I don't know. Play the entire album from beginning to end because this album is absolutely fire. And you will thank me for suggesting it to you if you have not heard it yet. All right? Just do it. Also, music video, Fire um, for Rosario. I absolutely think they they killed that video and the song. Um, and it's it's really it's been really fun to see how people have been reacting to it because a lot of um, some some of the people that they wrote with um, Epic High are good friends of mine, and and they have become huge fans of Epic High as well. Um, and it's just amazing. I'm so… I just love that album. I'm, I'm bumping it every day. Alright. So we talked about Epic High. We just had to do it. Um, so next up. We're going to talk about… What should we talk about? Alright. Let's talk about Treasure real quick. Treasure is back um, with a song called My Treasure. And they are a 12-member boy group under YG. And uh, like… I watched this music video with like no idea. I still… I've talked about them before. I told you I met them before at Inkigayo. I think it was Inkigayo. Um, and I just don't know much about them. Like I just don't. And I don't have… You know… I'm, I don't… I don't live just searching only K-pop. So if it comes across my radar, I'm like, oh, that's dope. It's dope. This song, I like it. And also, I got to say like as I was watching the music video though, I was like YG I feel like was always branded as like we're so hipster and so hip hop and cool. Like we don't give an F about anything. Um, but all of a sudden like this group is so like… In Korean there's like this word like shabang shabang. Which I think in like English is like so like, like flashy, shiny, pretty kind of bright, energetic kind of thing. Which is, you know, great. Nothing wrong with it. But it's just such a departure from what I have come to expect from from YG. That every time I see something from them, I'm like, are you sure they're YG? Is this not SM in disguise at YG? Um, this is not shade in any way. I'm just like very like intrigued. Because I never in a million years did I expect that YG would put out a group with this type of music and aesthetic. Having said that, I like the the beginning, the intro to this song, I absolutely love it. Um I feel like it's jazzy. It's it's the entire song is like kind of reminiscent of a little bit of a throwback for me. Um, but it's just easy listening, medium tempo. I like I literally did this thing where I, I closed my eyes. I didn't even watch the music video for part of it. And I was like, would I listen to this on a regular basis? I was like, yeah, if it came on. I dig it. I'd let it play in the cafe. I'd let it play through my Spotify. I'd listen to the whole thing. Some things you're just… Honestly, I'm like… Close my eyes. I'm like… Mm, I skip it. And then I might not talk about it on the show. But I'm talking about it because I dig it. Treasure with their comeback. My treasure. Check it out if you haven't done so. Uh, they have 12 members. So… Uh, I don't know how they live together. Gr groups living together is difficult. But when you have like so many members… I can't even imagine how difficult it is. But um, you know, hopefully big things to come from this group. Um, I saw this meme also where somebody was… I don't… It's not a meme. It was like a… It was like a video on Instagram where somebody was explaining the vocal techniques between all the different… Like the, the big three company… Well, what was originally because of the big three. So that would be SMJYP and YG. 
before, you know, Big Hit took over everything. Um, and it was just hilarious because it was so spot on where it's like SM is so like, you open your mouth and you sing very wide and you just, it's like a, I'm, you know, just a big open hearted, like clean pop th- sound. And then Joe IP's like half voice and like whispery and whatever. And then why he's just like, I don't give a F. Like I'm a hipster kind of vibe. And it just, it literally cracked me up. Um, and it made me think of that as I was watching this treasure video. All right, let's go to the next group. Next up, we have Yoja Idol. G Idol, they're back with Hua. So as you guys may know, G Idol is a six member multinational girl group under Cube. And this song was written and co-produced by group leader Soyeon. This is off their fourth EP album called I Burn. And the song Hua is about moving on from a broken relationship with a fiery, fiery determination and leaving all the bad memories behind. Um, I also liked this because it was a departure from what G Idol typically does. This month in general, watching music videos and listening to music, I was constantly pleasantly surprised because things were being put out that I did not expect. Um, And I think sometimes there's this… There's great (laughs) sparking joy from unexpectedness. I don't know how to speak. Um, But because like I think of G Idol and it's always like super intense. And like um, I really like their song Dum Dee Dum Dum Dee Dum Dee um, as well. But this was… I just did not expect something kind of slower and more dramatic from them in this style. And so… When I watched it and when I heard it and saw the performances, I was like, oh, I like it. It works. Um, they already kill it in their own right. But, you know, I'm really excited to see how things go for them. Yeah. But anyways, excited for G Idol. Been a fan. Hopefully they come join us on the show someday soon. Uh, let's talk about… Who else should we talk about next? All right. We got we to gotta give some respect to, to some humbes today. Um, yes, we talked about Epic High briefly, but we gotta talk briefly about Tongbang Shinki TVXQ's Yuno Yun Ho. So he has a new uh, song out called Thank You. And, you know, TVXQ, they're legends in their own right, and they perform like no other. I may have shared this story before, but I had, I'm gonna say, the honor and pleasure to promote with them during the same time period. And so we would see each other on a pretty regular basis when we were promoting. This is a few years ago. And when they perform, when they're on stage taping or live, literally every artist on the show that day will just go leave their room, go out of their way to watch them perform because they are so good. Like so on point, so incredible. And the best thing is that they were also good people. Um, uh, he, especially, I guess both of them. Yeah, they're both really good people. But I still remember, you know, you know, was just being like, I really like your voice. I think you're an incredible singer. Um, and he just like gave me all these compliments and they gave me a signed album and they filled up the entire like front page or second page or whatever with like a full letter. And I was like, oh, that's so like nice. Um, so I was like very, uh, touched by it and then also appreciative by it. So since like I don't think I was into K-pop when TVXQ was at their peak. Um, I just like was not aware of K-pop during that time period. So but like getting to to go back in time and like listen to some of their stuff and like um, just keep my eyes and ears open for it. It's been really cool. Um, But the reason I ta- really want to talk about this is because the music video is so cool. It is like a freaking movie. It's like a gangster mob movie. There's something about the videos this month. Super cool. I love it. So check it out. You know, you know, thank you. Also, lastly, I just want to give two shout outs. Um, one to Chung Seun, who is back with a song called In the Dark, as well as Big Tin, Pik Ton, uh, with What I Said. Um, I think Big Ton had like a really great music video. And they're this group that's been consistent in their comebacks recently over the past few years since they debuted. And they just keep coming up. And um, 
yeah. So it's been really cool. And then Chong Seun as well. Like I I like this song a lot. So check it out. And that's pretty much what we got. That's what we got for for this week's K-pop Tebak January wrap up, I guess. I don't know. This is weird because I haven't done it like this in so long. I usually have a guest. I have like an interview or something. Mind you, like we have more guests coming. We have more people. I'm, you know, we're Zoom interviewing. I wish I could do it in person, but unfortunately, it's just not the way it's working right now. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Um, but, 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 but do you have anything more to ramble about? I don't really know. I, um, what should I talk about? So, okay. Um, one thing that I want to talk about is like, I feel like I want to do YouTube, but I also feel really lazy about it because I, I don't like editing. Like if anybody really loves editing, <laughs> I really don't like editing guys. Editing like, like I've been, I've been editing a different show, like a different podcast, which you guys will hear soon as well. Um, and I can do it. It's just, I I think I'm really sensitive about a lot of things when it comes to sound. And I just like have to like let myself not care about certain things. And just remind myself that it's not the end of the world if something doesn't sound perfect. Um, which, you know, I've started to do very easily these days. But it's just, some people love editing. I'm just not one of those people. It's the same reason I don't produce, produce. Because some people love producing. I don't love producing. I like melody making, right? Don't… I don't know. That's just the way I am. Um, what else is going on? What else is cool? Um, I've been watching some TV shows. <laughs> some that I'm embarrassed to admit. But I've been doing it. Maybe next week, if I'm in a good mood, I'll let you know what I've been watching. <laughs> Um, also, uh, when it comes to dive, um, we have been sold out of like the essentials for quite some time. And we are in the process of creating new essentials. Um, so for the people who copped out, what? For the people who copped the, the most recent essentials collection, thank you so much. I hope you guys love it. I'm wearing, I literally wear them every single day. It is kind of ridiculous because they're so comfortable. And I should probably wash them. But also I'm in quarantine, aka socially distanced with my family. And I don't see anybody. And then I'm like, do I need to impress anybody? I'm like, no. So like, why should I shower? <laughs> no, you guys, I shower. Trust me. I just showered before this, this podcast. I, I shower. But you know, like I feel like we all have those days where like I just really don't want to shower because I feel lazy. I gotta dry my hair. I didn't dry my hair today. I rarely dry my hair. But you know, people are like, that's bad for your scalp. I'm like, well, oh no, guys. It's just a lot to do. Right? When you're at home all day and you gotta shower, you gotta do your skincare routine. I'm like, I ain't seeing nobody. I don't have to impress anybody. And I was doing Insta Insta Live the other day. And somebody was like, yo, I, I, I pr- forgive my French. It's like, oh, is it ooh, oh, oh, the, or the, oh, oh. So, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, the quarantine. Oh, I think means water in French. But it also, it's like, oh, the toilet or oh, the something. It's like perfume or cologne. I don't know. If you're French, let me know. I apologize for, for messing up this language. Um, But we came up with oh, the quarantine. It's like, how do we brand that? It is the natural scent of you in quarantine. Oh, the quarantine. Get a bottle now at your lead, at your closest CVS or Walgreens. I'm going to shut up now. Um, anyways, uh, this is fun. I haven't done this in a long time, but I had a good time. I hope you guys had a good time. And please be sure to subscribe, rate, and review. Uh, I check the ratings and the reviews. A lot of people ain't believing reviews. I'm going to just say it. I'm going to call you out. I'm calling you out. I am doing this as a service to you and humanity. You know? If you want to leave a review and visit our sponsors, please do it. Because, yeah. 
doing a podcast is not easy, y'all. I know I make it look easy because I'm a professional, but um, yeah, we got we got we got lights light bills to pay. We got we got people to take care of. So um, all jokes aside, anything that you guys do to 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 support us um, in, in Patreon or Mindset or whatever, you know, it really, 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 truly means a lot. So thank you so much. Tell your friends about this podcast because it's literally going to change their life. Literally, so life changing. Can you um, can you imagine your life without the show? Could you imagine your life without me just talking BS? For, for so long. And then just me literally sitting here. And be like how is this possible. That you can just just talk. I don't know. It's a gift I have. Mom. Okay. <laughs> I got to shut up now. Alright guys. Seriously. Love you guys. Have a great week. Please stay safe. Wear a mask. Wash your hands. Stay socially distanced. And um, yeah. I'll be back soon. And I'll talk to you guys soon. And. Um, what else do I say? I'm so hungry. It is 2.30 a.m. right now. Oh, you know what I'm going to talk about next time? I'm going to talk about this house that I'm in and the reason I'm shooting this at 2.30 a.m. Okay. We got my topic. I'll talk to you next week. Bye. Hey guys, before you go, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for this channel. And comment if you can. And uh, before you go, there's so much more content. Look at this amazing content for you guys to check out. Do it now, please. Okay, bye. Go. Bye.